Now let me show you how an assessment is designed and what it contains. Remember, the curriculum is divided into major topic areas, which in turn are divided into subtopics. Let's use the subtopic, Understanding Fractions, as our example. This array of different exercise types, from Grade 2 to Grade 5, are typical of those used to reinforce and build knowledge in this particular subtopic. However, in order to assess a student's knowledge in this or any other subtopic, the EDIS assessment engine preselects specific strategic exercises to assess a student's competency in key concepts. These have been highlighted in blue for this subtopic. Now let's assume the student doing this assessment is in Grade 5. His assessment would begin with the highlighted Grade 5 exercise. If he failed this, the program would move down to Grade 4 exercises and so on down earlier grade levels until he passed. In this case, if he kept failing, he would move all the way down to Grade 2 where the simplest concepts about fractions were taught. This top-down assessment design is unique to EDIS. Most often, students are only tested at their current grade level. However, this will not identify core learning gaps that occurred in earlier grades, which is key to helping students back to grade level proficiency.